Hey Audrey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Everyone, this is Audrey Bryant. She will be our MRI technologist host for today. And Audrey, before we begin, can you answer three questions? Absolutely. Are you a, a Cincinnati hometown girl? I am. I was born and raised in Cincinnati. Okay. Um, what made you go on to the medical field? Um, a number of reasons, but I wanted to go to college here and they were offering this programs and I checked it out and ended up falling in love with it. So. All right. What made you choose Cincinnati Children's? Actually, one of my friends suggested that I should work here because she had already worked here and so I checked it out and also ended up loving it here as well. All right. <laughs> so uh, are you ready to give us a little tour of the scan room? Yeah, absolutely. So you can come a little closer. This is the MRI room, but you can't come in because you have metal on. So what that means is this is a big magnet and metal is attracted to the magnet. So no metal is allowed in to, go to the, go into the room. No phone, keys, wallet, anything like that can't come into the room. But you can come a little closer. So this is the MRI machine and this is the table that our patients lay on when they're getting ready to do their test. And whenever we're imaging a particular part of the body, we use what's called a coil. And basically what a coil is, it's a signal receiver, kind of like an antenna. Um, and we keep those over here. So any part of the body, we have a coil specifically used for that part of body. And then we have a power injector over here. Some of our tests use contrast, and if there's contrast, sometimes we use this power injector, and sometimes we just inject by hand through a syringe. And then the coolest part, which helps a lot of our kids get through the MRI, is our headphones and the movie goggles. So they go on the patient like this, and then they're able to watch a movie, which is really cool. You can kind of hear a chirping sound that the MRI makes. It's really important to know that the MRI is always on 24 hours, seven days a week. The magnetic field is always active. So just be sure to know that if you're ever around the MRI field that nothing metal can go into the room. So this is our MRI control room and you can see um, there's lots of computers and monitors and different things that we use to make sure that the MRI goes well. And you can see into the scan room from here. Um, this is the best part for the patients. This is the TV and the DVD player and that's how the kids are able to watch their movies. This is where the magic happens. So Audrey, we have some questions here um, that are commonly asked by our patient and parents. Are you ready to answer them? I am. Okay. Why are MRIs so loud? Well, MRIs are very loud. This is true. Sometimes they can be as loud as a jackhammer kind of like a construction zone or if you hear somebody knocking on the door really loud it makes a lot of loud noises and there is a reason why and we can't get our pictures without this noise so inside of the scanner there's different mechanisms that go on that create the loud noise and that changes the way our body looks on the picture so it's super necessary to have the loud noises and it's a lot of MR physics to explain why it makes the noises but just know that it is needed is that your final answer? That is my final answer. <laughs> okay. um, how do I get my results? So our doctors read the scans within 24 to 48 hours and they send the results to your ordering physician. Now if you are on my chart, the results can pop up on there quicker sometimes or within 48 hours and you can check them out there as well. Okay. Does the MRI give off radiation? There is no radiation in the MRI. It is used um, with, it's a large magnet inside, so there's no radiation needed. Okay, why do I have to hold still? So when we take our pictures, it's kind of like when you take a picture with your phone. If you are moving around on your pictures, then it's gonna look blurry. So same with our pictures, if you're moving around in there, they will look blurry as well. Okay, will I be magnetized when I'm done with the exam? <laughs> You will not be magnetized when you're done with the exam. All right. Well, thank you, Audrey, for taking time with us, giving us a tour, and answering our questions. Have a happy day. You too. Thanks.